Welcome to Cindy Certified Recipes. Today, we're making a soup of legend by combining three powerhouse ingredients, such as an aged cheddar, a premium lager, and a fantastic apple smoked bacon. And better yet, it comes together like in no time. So if you're enjoying this recipe, please give that subscribe button a tap. It'd be hugely appreciated. And let's get to the soup. We're starting off this amazing soup with browning our bacon in a Dutch oven. And other than putting the finished bacon into the soup later, uh, I like to cook the bacon on a low heat uh, to render the fat. So that's gonna sit in that pot and render down until the bacon is nice and crispy and I have a nice layer of fat. All right, you guys, our bacon is getting just the way I want it. And we're gonna remove that and let it drain on a paper towel and reserve that nice bacon grease for our onions. I made a little extra bacon cause you know, girls got a snack. And who doesn't like a little extra bacon in their soup? That's good, you don't have to get every little speck. And that's a nice amount of bacon fat we got going in there with nice fond on the bottom of the pot. That's all that nice brown bit stuff. And now we're gonna add one whole onion that I chopped up pretty fine. And the reason I chopped it up really fine is some people like to uh, put a mixer in there, a hand mixer, after this is all done. And I like the little bits in there, uh, so I don't use a mixer. And that's why I chop this up real fine, so that it's not big hunks later when you're eating the soup. So that's gonna cook until it's a little translucent and a little brown, and then we're gonna add some garlic to that. All right, so our onions are nice and translucent and they're giving off a nice amount of liquid. And so now I'm gonna add a couple cloves of garlic. And I base this off the size of the garlic. Normally just two if they're big. These were kind of, eh, medium. So I'm gonna use three today. And you wanna mix that around. That's only gonna cook about a minute. You don't wanna cook garlic too long or it'll get bitter. Another thing that's nice too when you make the onions this small is everything cooks nice and quick. So I can smell that garlic and so we're gonna start adding in our flour a little at a time and make a nice roux. A little bit more. This is also the point I like to add my dry mustard because if you add it later after you have wet ingredients in there, it can clump. So that's a tablespoon of dry mustard. And you can see we have a nice roux going on here. I'm gonna cook that roux until it's a little brown to cook the flour flavor out. You always wanna do that when you're making any type of roux. That's looking the way I want it. So I'm gonna start adding in 
some whole milk. A little bit at a time. In total, approximately two cups of milk. Let that cook a little bit in between putting more in. Add in a little bit more milk. Being this is a Dutch oven, you're going to get a little heavier fawn on there than you would, let's say, a nonstick pan. And so as I go, I just keep scraping up the bottom there. I'll let that cook a little bit more before we add our other ingredients. Our roux and flour mixture here has been bubbling away, and it's about time to add in some of the chicken stock. And again, I like to add it slowly. That was about a half a cup of chicken stock. In total, you'll use about a cup. I'll let that bubble up a little bit, and then we'll add the rest of the chicken stock. All right, we're gonna add in the other half a cup of that chicken stock. Give it a stir. Start adding in my lager. Just a little bit at a time, like we have in everything else. Let that bubble up, and we'll add some more. We're going to add in a little more of that lager. You'll notice I'm cooking everything on a relatively low heat. I don't want any mega fast boiling here. Again, we're gonna let that come up to a boil and then we're gonna start adding the cheese. All right, see how nice and bubbly that is? And so now we are going to start adding in the cheese right after I put in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And this is about three to four cups of sharp cheddar. It tends to go the best with the beer. And you're gonna just add a little bit at a time and stir it in. And once that's melted, you'll add a little bit more and a little bit more to you get the consistency that you want. One thing fantastic about this soup is if you just use less liquid ingredients, you'll have a dip. So it does double duty. Whenever I have a recipe that calls for shredded cheese, I like to shred my own cheese, because if you buy shredded cheese already shredded in the store, they add potato starch to it to keep it from clumping, and I really don't want that potato starch in my food, so I go the extra mile and shred my own cheese. really smelling fantastic at this point. You get the little beer, bit of beer in there and the cheese. 
and the onions and garlic. Really get your taste buds going. Now that I've added that cheese, I'm going to give it a taste because there's salt in the broth and there's salt in the cheese. And there's going to be salt in the bacon, but definitely needs some additional salt. So that's about a tablespoon for now. I'm also going to grind some fresh pepper in there. I personally like seeing the pepper, so I just like to use black pepper. We'll go with that for now. Give it a good stir. And we're going to let this bubble around and let those flavors marry, and then give it another taste before we add the bacon giving all these flavors time to marry and come together. And so what I'm gonna do now is start adding in some of that bacon. I didn't snack on all of it. <laughs> so I just add in a couple handfuls. Give it a stir. I think it needs a little bit more bacon, don't you? There we go. Got to save some for garnishing the top. And now I'm going to give it a taste for any salt adjustment. Probably just a little bit more salt, about a teaspoon. And now for the final test before I plate it up, you got to use a nice buttered crostini, right? <laughs> Look at that. So yummy, you guys. All right, I'm gonna move that off to the side. Now we're gonna plate that in a bread bowl. Here's my bread bowl that I prepared and I made a couple of different crostinis. This one is butter with cheddar cheese and pepper and just a plain butter crostini with sourdough because it holds up really good with the soup. Let me get a spoon. I move my pot over a little bit more so I don't make a huge disaster on my stove. There we go. Stir that and get all the bacon and all the goodness. Put that in your bread bowl. Doesn't that look wonderful? Oh my gosh, I can hardly wait. There we go. And I'm gonna put some green onions on there. And a little more bacon. And that's ready to devour, you guys. Enjoy. One taste and you're gonna wonder where this has been all your life. And as always, if it's time-tested, top-notch ingredients, and the talk of the table, it's Cindy Certified. <laughs>